Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your overall energies. Also, I'm going to leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. I'm intending this reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs of Sagittarius. So if you have any of those on your chart, it might resonate with you. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon and give some love to the channel and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, okay? Let's dive into your reading. Let's see what is coming your way. I see oh, tears of joy. Something great is actually coming forth. This can be like whatever it is that you has an intention, you have as an, as an intention in your mind. It is probably going to come to life. I even see here like fireworks. You're watching fireworks here. Standing up a, on a hill. I see there's a dog in front of you. You have a massive tulip behind you. Flowers are always a good sign and tulip is especially very good because it represents the, um, you know, the movement, the new um, spring coming forth. And the spring doesn't have to be by weather, it can be like a springtime in your life in a positive way. It's a new beginning, it's a new start, a fresh start because that's when the freshness and the flower starts to smell good and the freshness starts to come forth. And it seems like that's going to be coming forward and another thing with the tulips are tulips are very resilient actually even though they uh hit they get hit by a fast wind they can lose their petals but they don't lose the stem stem stands up very like strongly so it can be also whatever it is coming forward it is going to be uh coming to stay in your life okay the celebration of it this is not going to be passing soon i have two different paths opening for you outside of your current environment out of your comfort zone one of them i see two people having a conversation here maybe you are traveling towards someone uh, that you really wanted to see for a long time or this person can be coming towards you also i have the second one here this is a short trip and there's a person looks like a fish to me as well, fish can be like a, something you're going to be traveling for career, money, or like any resources. can also be this person coming forward that you're going to be traveling for them or with them to a small trip, okay? I see that you're taking, you're surfing on the waves. There is a legal paper here. Legal paper can be... Um, even a plane ticket, okay? Any contract that comes to your mind, any application that you made, whatever it is that is actually is in your mind initially, uh, you're gonna be receiving that very soon. And I see here someone sailing, like you are maybe like surfing, not sailing, surfing. And um, this can be something playful, that um, creative idea that you had or something like playful out of the norm that you actually acted in an impulsive way but you know in um impulsive however in a positive impulse not like in a anxiety driven impulse okay and um when you follow this thing up it is actually going to be bringing you some like you know some clarity first of all we have like a clear cut a path is opening here and the situation is maybe you are in a certain situation it is coming to an end finalizing also um it is because it's a the white paper it is something that is going to bring you some peace okay maybe a peace of mind in about, about a situation i see somebody's face here they have a, like a bright aura However, they're looking like in a grumpy mood. So this accomplishment might not make someone happy. Uh, this can be something that is giving you freedom and this person can be someone that you're dependent. So um, even though they don't have negative intentions, you being independent may actually hurt this person. Hurt in a sense of emotional hurt. I don't think they're going to be getting hurt physically. So but still you're not gonna you know mind what's happening with them you are actually shielding up i see that you're wearing a beautiful hat here maybe even like um looks like a fur 
um, scarf, like fur doesn't have to be like fur, I mean in the sense of protective, warm feeling that you are actually going to be wrapping yourself with, okay? Um, there is an, I feel like this kind of looked like an ankh to me initially, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like a ring, maybe even like two eyes um and a mouth and the nose right there this this looks like a cartoon bird here cartoonish bird and a little surprise so very surprising um news might be coming in after you actually receive this confirmation and you're actually um getting the confidence that you need some one more thing come through comes through there i have another legal paper here one more unexpected good news will be showing up for you um let me see there's a person right there who has maybe like a crab on top of his head this can be a cancer sign like someone their astrological sign is like crab this cancer can be someone very emotional and they're back in their own shell um a bull is actually trying to attack this person it can be a taurus trying to attack this person Taurus doesn't have to, like the, the bull doesn't have to be Taurus. This can be someone very masculine, maybe someone who is a go-getter, hyper, someone who really gets things done and disciplined. Might be actually attacking someone who is in a lighter um, weight than them. Um, you are a Sagittarius, you're a fire sign, you have the warrior energy here. This can be you actually doing that as well to someone. I don't not I'm not saying you're deemed to see weak. I don't think this person is weaker than you are, but this person can be someone actually with their slowness, they're boring you. And that's why you're probably trying to give them a push. So, you know, you can boost them a little further. With that, you know, you can get things going, rolling really f faster then um, it is currently going on, okay? Okay, let's see. There's a fishing hook here. I see a face of a camel. I don't see the body. Camel can be resilient. Oh, yeah, this is actually... There's someone riding this camel right there. The camel can be indicative of someone very resilient, strong, and um, this person is heading towards you, maybe coming for a negotiation there's a fishing hook in between you and this person there there can be a catch maybe they're going to be coming up to you with an offer uh can be in your workplace maybe friends family environments or something like that what i see here is like even if this person offers you something looking very good at this moment there might be a catch Okay, so you need to be very careful while you are considering this kind of offers coming freely. Either way, though, you can see under it, it is always like under the belly of the things. Everything is clean. There's no negative intentions, but, you know, maybe some hidden details that are maybe in the long run good for you. But it's good to be aware of them rather being surprised here. I see a male figure turning their back, but they have a face behind them, smiling. But another part of them is like, you can see they're lifting their chin up. Their nose is actually on the, like, uh, you know, they're raising their nose. Can be someone actually a little bit snobby, looks other ways, looks otherwise. Uh, like they look smiling, but they might have other intentions. They might have other, you know, uh, high horse issues maybe maybe and then um, i see that you're dealing with this person in the situation or maybe this is you being actually treating this offer that way okay even initially you're taking it very lightly loving it but then when you try figure out what the goals behind it that hidden catch thing is you're actually turning your back towards it so you're saying like you know i i don't have to take this and um and i see that you're on a trampoline or maybe on a uh, like a high platform you're jumping into new thing that you're probably leaving that behind you're right here getting prepared i don't know if you know those they're not the synchronized swimmers but the other ones that they jump from a high tall place and they just you know do all those 
different types of turning and just you know things like that and you are getting ready to jump into a new adventure here and there is a king right there right under you you can see the crown of this person so this can be someone that you're going to get help from that you can trust that's why you're not taking the deal that doesn't really serve you and when you jump into that i see this yes um the king actually turning out to be a very strong person lifting you up with one hand here um this person this situation can be a place that you're going to be actually working really hard however i see at the end you are actually like being shielded up you are being protected there's a massive fish that you're with the two tails that you're going to be grabbing so this thing can be even like there's a new path there's a new doorway opening here archway so this thing can even be bringing you some unexpected opportunities okay but can require you to the thing e comes easily might have a catch behind it but the thing comes in a way that you need to put effort in is actually going to come with a lot of um rewards at the end okay Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. I see a person standing right outside of your door here. Your desire coming super fast and even like closing one cycle and opening up a new one, opening up new doors for you. I see that you're putting your hands behind your head here. You're wearing a massive good hat. I don't know if you can see here. This is the hat. Kind of reminds me of this um, from the clockwork orange type of that top hat there and um, you are actually relaxing this is your heart this is your home i'm sorry okay this is your home you're relaxing after this all this like struggle or maybe the efforts that you put in the time that you're spending uh, you're relaxing here there is someone who left outside i don't think it is left outside in the cold they are standing outside and um which is something good for you, but they are inside your protection circle, protective circle. So this is someone maybe that you're separating. Um, if you're working for long hours, maybe putting a lot of effort into what you do and like maybe, maybe satisfying what you do, satisfying a lot of people here, as you can see, um, what you're starting to do here is, you know, leaving some of this effort outside of your door. Uh, maybe just creating work-life balance or maybe a relationship balance. If you're being over-sacrificing towards the people in your life, you're actually coming to, you know, draw a line and saying that, okay, now you cannot pass uh, anymore and uh, I need my own time and relaxation. I also see like a serpent here wrapping around and the number seven indicates knowledge and strategy. So the more you know, the more you're developing this actually the attitude of like okay now i am the knowledgeable one and i can actually make my own rules and the serpent can be like a health matter actually that is coming to resolving or maybe there is actually something that you're planning to do for a while when it comes to your health um that you're going to start taking action towards it seems like the influence is going to come from outside because it's outside the the your regular circle so this can be someone maybe doing the things that you want and you're getting inspired by them this can be like a family member or a friend or even someone that you're following on social media for example maybe you want to start to like reformer pilates there's this kind of like different types of things while you're watching that it might inspire you and you can go to your local store and maybe just start doing that there something like that coming forth uh it doesn't have to be the examples that i'm giving it can be something different okay this is what is coming to my mind let's see what your cards are telling us at this time oh ten of cups beautiful you can see oh my gosh this is a very happy beautiful family environment and abundance raising children together if that's your plan if you have like a life partner maybe you're finding uh, this common ground with this person it can also be <clears throat> like whatever that you do at work um this creating some long-term you know uh, happiness probably not uh, like mostly not not wealth happiness okay let's see what else we have here i have a seven of wands while you're building this thing 
you might still carry things from your past maybe past heartbreaks and this might put you in a position of defensiveness it's good to have um boundaries but sometimes those boundaries can be so turn turning into shields that is pushing the people away from you okay i have here the page of pentacle uh, no i'm sorry this is the king of pentacles king of pentacles can be someone taurus virgo or a capricorn who is holding the tentacle here someone who's financially in a very good position have massive potential who created already comfort for themselves and wants to have uh, give comfort and have comfort in their life this can be your manifestation of wealth in a very short term period or in um like a long-term establishment though and it seems like with a chair or someone who's coming with that kind of like established wealth we also have the chariot this indicates that whatever is happening it is going to be happening in a very fast manner this is also you leaving the past thinking past a mindset behind and moving towards a new future while you're doing that we have the hangman also coming forth here but she's not really hanged upside down so you might have a revelation revel, revelation like understanding of the things why the universe working in a certain manner why the things are coming in a certain timeline this can be like the as an understanding showing up here for you um so this can create a short-term pause in the developments uh, until you figure out the way to go as soon as you figure it out the things are going to be aligning faster i have here a page of swords page of swords can be someone who's very communicative very good with communication they speak their own truth can be libra gemini aquarius uh, who actually can you know come up with a new good idea this can also be a new idea coming into your mind maybe you are changing your approach towards the things maybe starting to be rather than just going with full-on fire uh, you are maybe going with um you know a little bit like more um, intellectual side here let me see what else we have for you a new good idea can be actually changing the pace of the things happening okay i have two of cups coming here this can be a new love offer it can be a soulmate energy someone that you feel really close to maybe if you feel like you have been knowing for your lifetime can be coming forward or can this can be uh, if you're not manifesting love this can be someone who is a, a situation a circumstance that is actually coming forth maybe even like you're looking for a home uh, this can be a place that is the place of your dreams or this can be the job opportunity coming forward with the service here of your dreams okay the service card is actually about your sacral chakra. This is our uh, reproductive, where its uh, reproductive organs are. Uh, the service, um, this is our creative, creative side, okay? How we create things. And we have here, uh, the energy tells you, I attract to you whatever you desire if you give up your desire. Hmm. The inspiration is, are you seeing your life as it really is? though we may wish things to be different often we create just what we need this is an opportunity to look at where you are today give up on what you think you deserve and start being of service here's a personal inquiry here how does the idea of service inspire me how can i make the most of my present situation what can i give key ideas are favoritism the joy of service, precious memories, finding contentment, and key words, compassion, loyalty, and strength. So, seems like here, um, like I said, with the Two of Cups, the service is actually aligning with this Pentacles, King of Pentacles as well, and also the Two of Cups. How they are aligning? Two of, the King of Pentacles is actually self-made person. They can create anything they want. They're very consistent. They go for the goal. They go for the catch. And also um, very focused on the financial establishment and stability. Okay. But he knows that with the two of cups, he has to be doing something he loves if he wants to do it for a lifetime. And uh, the service 
should be coming first because when you serve, you can receive, you're definitely going to receive something in return. And what you make as a, like financially is actually aligns with the service you give. So he's very well aware of that. And I feel like with this card, you are actually starting to find out what you need rather than what you want. Because sometimes what we truly need aligns with what we want, but some other times it might not be. But at this time, I feel like it is your service, your desires, and your needs are aligning, okay? And you're finding the perfect balance in between them. If you go ahead with what you love, what makes you feel joyful, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.